family right across the world people in youtube land who tune in and watch the big super channel i'm here this morning with another part two of the the pit bull digging where the tractor dig out the hole and now as you can see after digging out the hole the guys them now begin to pack the pit and you see it's about 15 feet down in the ground that's what i'm going to build a ladder and build a ladder about this ladder about maybe 16 or 17 feet to come out out of the pit so as you can see guys um the process of i'm at the edge of the pit and the process of digging a pit it is not a easy it is not an easy job, but somebody have to do it, and it seems like it's a regular conventional pit where them them use the the pit stone, them use the 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 the, the stones them where the river stones them, the hardened stones them, the one where water won't soak, the one where water won't soak, and them use that stone to um park the pit and that stone now when the the sewage um, get into that stone it fill tight but the stone remain intact so you see it it's it, it is like a conical shape it's shaped like a cone i don't know if you're familiar with um ice cream cone but um what they do they start the bottom of the pit very narrow and as they lay the stone along the, the side of the pit come up and they, they go in a circle the, the top begins to get wider so as they come up and what they do now them put a belt in as they would across a belt in so they reach about maybe them going belt this one more time so they reach about about i would say about 30 40 percent of the pit so they belt it and so after they built that section now they're going to lay some more stone come up and when they reach another section then they're going to belt it again and they're going to continue that process until they reach right up to the top of the pit as you can see by looking down in it and it's it's what 14 14 feet i think of 14 or 15 feet down and you see them have a ladder what they use to get down inside the pit to, to make the pit but you can see now we're looking at the stones and it's a very, it's a very um, dangerous job you know being at the edge of a pit and I never realized how dangerous it was until I decided to video, video this pit but these are the stones what they use and these stones are river stones they are some very huge stones i would i would say i would think that one of these stone major maybe about maybe two feet somewhere along that side and they round some most of them shape like an egg like them have a kind of egg shape and them use these stone and these stones are the stone they use to pack the pit and stuff so these stones i guess these stones are one of the best stones because these stones water water won't damage them water just pass by and you know have you, if you have ever been to a river and you know that these stones always remain intact so these stones are some of the best stones to use when you're packing a pit the river stones and you have a next type of stone that they use you know and and but out here in um st thomas st thomas jamaica out here these stones are some of the most famous stones in using to pack the pit so as you can see 
um, at the edge of the pit and I have, I have to be very careful where and how do I, how I step in vidoring this pit and this pit is about at least at least 15 feet yep at least 15 feet and you can remember from the last video that I put up about the, the pit bull that's what I record uh, uh, I refer it as the pit bull you can remember from the last video and and this is a continuation and i'm going to even come back when i finish the pit and put on the top and i'm going to do a complete documentary of of it but um a lot of people um don't really know um use pit and they have pit in the yard and they don't really know sometimes they buy the the property with a pit on it and them don't even know how the process of making a pit goes and them just assume that the water just go in the ground but uh, this is a process and this process I've been using from before me born yeah this process I've been using very long where this process of digging a pit where they take the the, the, the bulldozer and dig out the hole and, 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 and a conical shape and then them use the stones them to pack it so if you can see so be careful where I step if you can see over in the pit guys I'm looking over in the pit and I'm tempted to climb down in the pit but I don't think I'm going to do this I'm going to take on that that, that challenge but um where I'm, I'm all, all I'm doing, I'm just circling the pit that you guys can see exactly and explaining to the viewers them who don't really familiar and I maybe I've never seen a pit actually being packed and, and since I've been doing this YouTube channel I realize by some of the comments that people inbox me about things I put up is that Jamaican people we, we have a lot of stuff out here where we thought the world know how it did and, and, and how it make but after been doing this chant this YouTube thing I realized from somebody the question that people ask me they have never seen a pit enough people overseas they just connect to a sewage line and the, this, and the sewage line take it to a treatment plant but here in the rural country where we don't have those facilities and, 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 and thing, the people have to resort to ingenious method so and this is one of them where they take the, the bulldozer and, and, and um, if they don't have the bulldozer they will use manpower and dig the hole in the ground and after digging the hole in the ground they will actually pack stones pack stones on it and eventually dig up it so here I'm, I'm i'm right over the ladder and you can see looking down this ladder is about 16 feet because it has to be taller than the pit in order to come out of the pit and i wasn't here but um come and see the stones them and just looking at it, I realized them bring the stones to the edge of the pit and they throw the stones down in there, you know. Yeah, they throw the stones down in the pit. These stones that you see I'm looking at, they throw it down and then they go down in there and pack and pack them neatly, neatly right to the side of the pit. These, these river stones were packed neatly right to the side of the pit, guys. So, and that process they use to make a pit in St. Thomas, Jamaica. And this process, you can inbox me across the world and let me know if France and Europe, England, in America, if you guys actually use this process in making a pit. Because um, most of you guys overseas, um, you guys connect to the sewage you connect to the sewage that sewage system so you don't really have the, the pleasure of knowing 
how a pit actually make because you just build your house and the guys them come and connect up the pipe to the public sewage and it take away but we don't have those technology or we don't reach that level of technology in, the, in this little island Jamaica some part of the, of the country have it still where they connect up to the sewage but some 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 parishes are still behind in this technology some parishes are still behind with this technology so we have to use the old fashioned way of actually digging and making a pit and I have to be careful we are stepping on because you see if I fall you know guys you know that is at least 15 feet down and my weight you know so just taking on this risky, risky job to make you guys see how genius it is to make a pit and I'm going to do a part three when they finish when they finish and come right up to the top I'm going to come back and make you guys see how it is and how it has done and how wonderful it would look and you can see the connection where they put in the sewage pipe and you can see how it works because I think you have to put in a breeder pipe also and things so it is not an easy job looking over in it I'm looking over to hold on to my tablet I don't want it fall and it is not an easy job to make a pit it takes a lot of strength and a lot of manpower and to, to do all of this to get all of these big stones down there and 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 thing and 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 pack it and these are the stones as you can see once again over the stones so they must move the stones and carry them close close to the pit so that they can pass them down and i guess this process maybe one or two person up to three person might take part in this process in packing the pit and making a pit is it, it is not a it is not a very cheap process it can cost some ft 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 funds and um i don't want to quote any price but i know a size pit like this yeah will rub will run you up in the over the hundreds of thousand jamaican dollars so every house needs some farmer sewage to dispose some some farmer method to dispose of them sewage most people make two pit and and one is for like the regular water and the other one is for like the like like for the the bathroom toilet and stuff most people but more conventional um way you now i notice that people making one pit now and i don't know the method why but me i don't know if it's cheaper or what but notice nowadays people they don't know but they make two pit again them just make one pit and them have a way if it divide off everything from the one pit straight everything from the house straight to the one pit so here i am standing over looking down on the site of the pit and i want to tell you that it is it is a very dangerous <laughs> A very dangerous job I'm doing here, walking around the pit, just vidoring it that you guys can look over with me and see. And if you're planning to make a pit, you know, at least you will know. And I don't see any steel, they never put any steel, they just use the, just the concrete and put on top of the stone. And I guess that will hold it because the guys are making the pit. Eh, here's the make pit for so they know how our pit make and stuff you know so as I come to the end of the pit bull part two I'm asking you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel and my YouTube channel name is Biggs 
big super and like you know don't forget to use up that like button if you like it just give me a thumbs up and um leave a comment sometime i need to know when i put out these videos what's going on so leave a comment and remember to turn on your notification bell that anytime big super drop a new video and i will try to put out one video every day you can be first in line to get it so have yourself a wonderful day now it's big super i'm out